Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. In this video, ang topic natin is about problems involving central limit theorem. So, by central limit theorem, the property of sampling distribution of sample mean may be solved using 1. The mean of the sampling distribution of sample mean is equal to our population mean. Second, we have... Uh, the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to the population variance divided by n, where n is the sample size. Then last, we have the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to the population standard deviation divided by square root of the sample size. Okay, so let's have example number one. The age of high school students in Muntinlupa City has a mean and variance of 16.02 and 3.03 .03 respectively. If 80 students are chosen from the population, what will be the expected mean and the standard deviation of these samples? So dito guys, um... Identify muna natin yung mga given. First, we have the population mean, which is equals to 16.02. Tama? Then, meron din tayong population variance, which is equals kay 3.03. .03. Okay? Then, if 80 students are chosen, meaning ang ating sample size is equals to 80. Right? Then, we are asked to find the expected mean and the standard deviation ng ating sample. So, ibig sabihin, ang pinapahanap is yung mean ng ating sampling distribution and yung ating standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution. Okay? So, based dun sa property ng ating uh, central limit theorem, the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means is equals doon sa ating population mean. So, ang population mean natin is equals to 16.02. So, therefore, uh, the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means is also e equals to 16.02. Okay? So, next. So, para makuha naman natin yung standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution, kailangan makuha muna natin yung ating uh, population standard deviation. Okay, so by using the formula of square root of variance, so dito ang variance natin is equals to 3.03. .03. So, we have... The population standard deviation is equals to the square root of variance, which is 3.03. .03. So, that is equals to 1.74. Tama? So, kung meron na tayong population standard deviation, guys, pwede na nating makuha yung ating standard deviation ng ating uh, sampling distribution by using the formula of the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is equal to the standard deviation divided by square root of n. Tama? Where the standard deviation is equal to uh, 1.74 and ang ating n is equal to 80. Okay? So, pag dinivide natin yan, 1.74 divided by square root of 80, that is equals to 0 0.19. Okay, so therefore, the standard deviation of our sampling distribution is equals to 0 0.19. Okay, so next, let's have another example. The average height of male in the Philippines with age 20 to 39 is 163.5, while the standard deviation is equal to 37.8. 
if we choose 200 from these people what will be the expected mean and standard deviation of this sample so again identify muna natin yung mga given we have the average height or the population mean is equals to 163.5 while the standard deviation or yung ating population standard deviation is equals to 37.8 then if we choose 200 from these people so meaning yung 200 that is our sample size so, what will be the expected mean? So, that is the mean of the sampling distribution and the standard deviation ng ating uh, sampling distribution ang pinapahanap dito. Okay, so by using the property ng ating central limit theorem where the, the mean of the sampling distribution or the expected mean is equal to the population mean so, meaning, our expected mean is also equals to 163.5. Okay? So, next, to get the standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution, we can use the property ng ating central limit theorem where the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is equals to the Population standard deviation divided by square root of n. Okay, so since given naman yung ating standard deviation which is 37.8 divided by square root of n which is square root of 200. So pag dinivide natin yan guys, 37.8 divided by square root of 200 that is equals to 2.67 Okay, so therefore uh, the standard deviation of the uh, sampling distribution of the sample mean is equals to 2.67 Okay So this is the end of our video I hope guys naintindihan nyo kung paano ba natin ina-apply yung property ng ating central limit theorem. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!